All right, morning, morning. Definitely not morning, but it's nighttime actually. Um, but this is about when I could do the video, so hence here we are. So if you look in front of your screen, you will see the spreadsheet again. Um, today we have gone over in our previous video, February 1st through the 7th, which um, I defined as one section. And today we're gonna go through February 7th to the 16th, which is our second section. It's on a through hike, but still quantified as a section for hiking season 2021. So as you see, that's a pretty big gap. Um, it's 10 days. So it's 10 days leaving town and getting into town, which any trail system, anywhere you are, that's gonna be a pretty hefty, hefty section. Um, if you look over here, I'll go through these more miles in depth shortly, but we were holding pretty good miles, not insane miles, but pretty good miles. And when you're doing that all day, every day without a break for close to 10 days, you're gonna be ready for a break. Um, if your body's not, your mind will be. Um, and also, you'll also wanna shower, especially in Florida weather at this point. So let's take it apart. February 7th, we narrowed in. We went over that in the last video. And February 8th, we got out of the town of Okeechobee. And I think this was the day that the map systems changed. We changed from kind of Southern Florida slash Big Cypress Swamp maps to something that's called the Kissimmee, the Kissimmee River section of the Florida Trail. Um, this area, I think we were in the Kissimmee for about three days, maybe pushing into that fourth day right there. This area of the Florida Trail is really beautiful. Um, it's some of the most consistent off-road miles, at least in my opinion. Um, you have Apalachicola, um, I believe. It's a 70-mile chunk that's pretty much no road and only swamps. But this did a very good job. Granted, you're on the Florida Trail, you will have connector pieces in there. But for the most, most part, it kept us on kind of two track which in my opinion i'm not considering road um there weren't cars driving on it all the time and kind of kept us in single track trail also in this kissimmee section i think it was pushing into this day right here whoops we saw the most alligators that we saw on the entirety of the florida trail it is packed i would not go swimming in those rivers mm -mm. heavily recommend against so this area we started getting into our miles a little bit um it felt good that rest i talked about it a lot in the last video but that rest on february 7th was crucial um my knee was still acting up pretty good in these miles right here i was getting to camp and relieved when i could take off my buff slash tourniquet but for the most part it started getting stronger. Um, the muscles around it started working well. And in general, it wasn't as scary as these previous days. Um, we were just sitting into a pace and cruising along. Um, th this day, February 10th, funny enough, there's a one part of the Kissimmee that is kind of confusing. Um, I wouldn't know how to define exactly where it is. If you want to see that info, you can go back and watch the Florida Trail section through there. There's one section in there, once you start seeing a bunch of orange trees, that the trail kind of disappears. And Hardy and I actually got separated at this point. I thought he was in front. He thought I was in front. Um, it turned out I was in front. And I pushed to this like river spot that on the map system looked like would be the best meetup. And Hardy was actually pretty significantly far behind. Um, but when I got there, why I'm saying this, telling this story is the alligators that I saw within the 45 minutes just sitting there were incredible. Um, incredible. Yeah, it was it was amazing. So that brings us to February 11th. Um, we didn't carry fully from Okeechobee for this 10-day sections. Um, we carried one, two, three, four, five days. We carried a little extra food because we knew the resupply in River Ranch wasn't going to be stellar. So we carried maybe about seven to eight days of food and then fluffed it up with this River Ranch resupply. Um, if you don't know, River Ranch on the Florida Trail, it is, I'm not gonna use the word town. It's kind of its own entity. Um, it's a ranch. It's a ranch people go vacation on and it has motels. 
It has kind of its own little general store. It has its very small own little village, um, kind of a grouping together of buildings. But I would be hesitant to call it a town. It has a lot of the same amenities as a town, but it's mostly for tourist, tourism purposes. So you can stay there, um, but we didn't because it was cha-chingy. And we also wanted to step off the miles. We were feeling good, so we just kept cruising. So we walked into River Ranch. Um, that's what the hero means, that we walked in and walked out the same day. We spent about an hour there and then um, getting food and whatnot. And then we walked a little bit out as the trail goes along the road out of River Ranch. And there's like this kind of, I'm not going to say abandoned airport, but it wasn't currently in use. So that's the biggest thing that we were really worried about. Um that's why I don't do a lot of heroes personally as a hiker because I have to charge a lot of my electronics because I film a lot. So that was the one thing I was worried about. But we found this little airport and we kind of sat on their back deck, um, used a little bit of the outlet charging and kind of just hung out, I don't know, for two hours maybe somewhere in there. Um, and we still have miles to step off, but we wanted to get as much juice as possible Funny enough, um, there was a porta potty way across the barren lands of the airfield, airstrip, and it was blazing hot day. And Hardy went to, he was a brave, brave soul, went to the porta potty, and he came back. He's like, Thank God somebody left scraps of toilet paper in there because it would have been a explosive situation if not. Um, There's no toilet paper in there. So he used like makeshift cardboard and TP scraps, which is super nasty. Um, but yeah, we hear it out. Um, found a nice spot to camp um, back on the trail. And then we got into these miles. These miles getting towards what would be our Nero and Heathrow. These miles, it was a lot of road. Um, I know there were some good like sections in there, but the majority of it was in fact road. Um, there's a good chunk from... I'm going to blank on where to where... But there's a good chunk that it puts you off dams and it's pure road walk for like 50 miles. Um, Yeah, so in here, after you leave leave River Ranch, I would heavily suggest planning. You will not be able to get away with this one section unless you do 50 plus miles without stealth camping along the side of a road. Um, There are actually on the Florida Trail maps as well as kind of the group source data. There are a couple suggestions on where the best stealth camp spots are, and they are actually pretty good. That's where we ended up stealthing. Um, But we got rained on pretty hard hard through here. I think it was either the 14th or the 13th. might have been the 15th. I apologize. Um, It was one of those days that you run into the town of Christmas um, before the town of Heathrow. And when I say town, again, that's very loose. It was like a collection of a gas station another gas station and a corner store. Uh, But we ran in there to just get a quick snack. It's like a half mile off trail. And funny enough, we ran into a hiker um, trail named Prov, who is, I'd never heard of her, but she is a BA, bad. You you put the other words there. Um, She's intense in a good way, in a great way, an intense hiker. She she gets after the miles. Um, We started chatting about different adventures and she's done so many things. I, I have no idea how. Like she is impressive to say the least. Um, very impressive woman. And she actually lived in upper Michigan and we were hoping to see her this year on the NCT, but her adventures are nonstop. Like I thought my year was aggressive. These years that she does, maybe it might not be the same miles, but she piece, pieces together a lot of different types of adventure. Backpacking, um, bike packing, canoeing. Just a very cool, cool woman. That was a really cool time to see her. Um, it was it was great to meet her. So that brings us to Heathrow. Heathrow, we were super ready um, to get a break. Again, physically, it wasn't so much a thing anymore. At this point, we'd been acclimated into trail. We'd been on it for half a month about. Um, it was more so in Florida. You're pretty nasty after about 10 days of just humid, humid, wet, sweaty heat. Um, Our bodies were so oily. um, You could have made olive oil. I don't eat olives. I don't know. That was a good metaphor I thought that would work. Um, Our bodies were super sweaty. 
really nasty. Was not expecting that. I mean, you should have, but it, it depends where you hike, really. So 10 days in Florida might be, quote unquote, physically easier than 10 days somewhere else, like 10 days in the desert. But you will feel way more dirty 10 days hiking in Florida than 10 days hiking in the desert. You might be actually physically dirtier in the desert with all the dirt and sand and dust that collects everywhere. But your body is just going to be so wet and humid all the time in Florida. At least when we were going through here, that is super nasty. One, a few of these days, like I was saying, we got caught in some good rain. And literally our clothes were so saturated with oil and our hair so saturated with oil that when the rain came, it wasn't like we were getting cleaner. We were actually getting dirtier in the rain. Like after the rain showers would pass or whatever, our body would just be pouring out oil and stuck in oil and like just so slick and no bueno, no bueno. Um, but yeah, this brought up, up us up to the town of Heathrow. I didn't type that in. Where, yeah, we took our third Nero day. Um, good, good Nero day. We got to, I don't remember the name of the hotel. In Heathrow, there are thousands, not thousands, but a lot of choices of hotels. It's actually like a big suburban sprawl because once you get here, you have to start making a decision. It's not instantaneously, but once you start getting here, you have to start making a decision of what route you're going to go around Orlando. Um, like the town of Okeechobee or the Lake Okeechobee. You have two options, east or west. Um, I'll talk about that more in the next video. But that you should make a decision before you leave. Um, it kind of dictates a lot. It dictates your resupply. It dictates your miles. Um, it kind of decides for you. Well, you decide, but then it decides a lot of the factors that you have to juggle when through hiking. So this section, um, while not kind of while not the most wow factor um i really enjoyed this section like i said the kissimmee was really sweet and then the stuff after river ranch wasn't my favorite there's some beautiful spots in there some oak hammocks and stuff like that but um it was once we left river ranch it was it was a couple grueling days of heat and rain and heat and rain so there's a lot of factors in there that was making it a little tougher these days i really really enjoyed um this is when I started knowing that my knee wouldn't fail me. Um, it was still very painful, but it felt secure. It wasn't a wobbly knee anymore. So started feeling more strong right there. And actually in these days too, we passed through a campground. I'm not going to say the campground's name because um, I don't know if I should. Um, I don't want that type of, in case it gets... I don't know. I don't want that type of stuff. So there's this campground on the Florida Trail that the trail routes you directly through. Not as much a campground as a makeshift shanty town. Um, I would not through hike there at night. Hardy and I both separately had videos about our experiences there, and we were together, but we both separately like took time to point out um, how uncomfortable it, it was just um, walking through there. Just walking through there as what we both are as white males can't imagine walking through there um, in, in in a different context. I didn't feel comfortable the way I was. Um, and a lot of their propaganda that was flying high and proud, I guess, spoke a lot of things that weren't correct. Um, I'm trying to politically... I'm trying to say this as politically correct as possible, um, and I think you guys get my message. But it was pretty, pretty nasty feeling. wasn't wasn't fun. We both talked about that separately. Um, yeah. So that is the Florida Trail, our technically second section. Well, I guess if you count this as a section, it was our third. For all intents and purposes, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this is our second because that's honestly what it felt like. And you can see our sections at that point, we're starting to get into the time frame we usually like. We usually like to do at least five or six days. Um, in all honesty, would love to do week to week. And that's usually what we try to plan for, like seven days on trail um, and then a Nero on either side. But you can also see that doesn't always work out. Um, it really is dependent on how hard we push miles and how hard we... Um, 
yeah, push miles. And sorry, I got lost. I was looking at the miles. How hard do we push miles and where the towns are situated? Um, sometimes we'll even forego a town to try to hit the next town if it links up with our schedule better. Um, it's, it's a bunch of factors that you got to take into account when you're doing a through hike. So, yeah, I hope I was able to do this section justice. Um, a lot of the stuff through here, I know I didn't go into super detail. A lot of the stuff through here was what it had been. It had been swamp stepping, two track stepping. Um, I can't really do more justice than the prior videos that I took of this. I just can tell the stories a little more in depth that really um, have a lot of feels for me. So, yeah, that's that. That's another one. These miles were way, 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 way better for my knee than these miles. Ha ha. A little bit of Mickey near the end there. There you go. Okay, that is Florida Trail Hiking Season Stats 2021 section. Dos.